Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is 100% the outdoors. And I just finished filming a video for my top three walleye spring baits, my top three spring baits for walleye fishing. And now I'm going to use probably those baits, maybe switch it up a little bit. I'm not sure yet for sure. We'll see how the day goes. But now I'm gonna go on the hunt for my five biggest walleye of the day. I got seven hours to make it happen. And like I said in, in some past videos, sometimes I wanna do videos where I have like uh, tips, ticks, tips, tricks, techniques, all that, where it's more instructional. Sometimes I wanna do adventure videos, some days challenge videos, etc. Right now, we're challenging myself to beat my top five biggest at walleye ever on Lake of the Prairies, which I think is 100 and I might've hit 120 inches once on Lake of the Prairies. I'll flash it right here, what I have, what I, I had for my top five walleye at Lake of the Prairies, or I'll go through my videos and find it. But that's the number that we're trying to beat. I don't even know for sure what it is. So we're just gonna go hard and uh, see what we can make happen. I'm gonna start with the Ned Leach from Acme because that was my best bait when I was filming my last video. So let's get to it because I already made it into the competition and I haven't fished. Let's do it. It is windy still. I don't know what the wind's supposed to do today. If it's gonna get windier or calmer or what, but we're gonna put some miles on. We're gonna search. We're gonna do some searching, some looking, fish some past spots I've done well, fish some new spots. And uh, yeah, I love Lake of the Prairies. Love spring walleyes at Lake of the Prairies. It's always a good time. Come on, Ned Leach, let's do it. I like filming the videos that I just finished where it's like instructional, but I think I enjoy more when it's like, I have like a goal or a challenge for me for the day. I like that, I like that. I'm just driven, right? Like go hard right to the end or fish for five hours, catch nothing and go home. You know, one or the other. Okay, first fish, is he big enough to register? I think we're going like 18 inches or bigger to register. Too small. Little guy. Lots of little guys. Nothing worth the measure yet. Okay, spot one, couple little guys. We're gonna make some moves, some looking, and uh, yeah, see what we can find. A lot of times in the spring, the walleye will group up in sizes. You catch a couple in that 20 inch range, like you could catch multiple. Jeez, first cast of the new spot. Haven't got my camera set up yet. That's a little bit better. That's a bit better. Oh, easy, easy. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. So here's a fun question for you. This fish, look at its mouth. It's got this big growth on the front. So do I get to count that? I don't think so. Now, like, what would you do in a tournament situation if you took that in and the weighmaster weighed it? Like, what, what would you do, right? Like, I, I would say you probably go right up as tight as you can get it, which adds a little tiny bit, but I'm pushing up as far as I can. And it's 22 and a half, 22 and a half right there for our first registered fish. That will come off of them eventually. Uh, I forget what the proper terminology is. I'll put it right here though. Um, I've, I've showed some of those fish in my past videos and people have commented what that was and I've actually known from some research too, but 22 and a half, first fish, good start. First registered fish that is. Wow, two casts in a row. Nice, little guy though this time. They're, they're loaded in here. Look on the graph, they're loaded. Oh. That's a, it's a pike. All time to head to another spot. Hasn't been hot and heavy. I got one good counter so far, the 22 and a half, but we need, we need more. The good thing is, is I'd rather have caught that fish than caught 20 fish under 20 inches. So things, things are okay right now. Nice. It is shallow. 
really shallow here. Not gonna count this guy. Man, I went right by those fish. Just so windy. It's nice. I put it right beside those fish. Just took me forever to catch up to the line. That's a nice one. Easy. Easy. This will be a counter for sure. Or one I want anyway. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Stay low. Oh, I don't like that. I'm in a bad spot. Okay, I got lucky. That's a good one. Yes! Oh, yes. I saw those fish on the live imaging pitched over there. The wind took my line. It took me forever to catch up to it. This fish is going to be our second counter. It's a gooder. 25. You know what? 25 and a half. It, uh, it touches 25 and three quarters right there. 25, three quarters mouth shot. Okay. Nice. Okay. Usually where there's one, there's more. Dropped right by that fish, but they're small. 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 Dropping down. Big cluster of fish right there. Oh. Like loaded with some fish right here, but so far smaller. We'll see if there's a bigger one. That one looks bigger. That's right there. Right on the bottom. Right on the bottom. I don't still don't think I'm gonna register him. He might be 18. He might be 18, but I don't think we're gonna register him. Now he's only 17, so for sure we're not gonna register him. But he's going home with me. That's my fourth fish of the day, and uh, that's my whoa easy. That's my limit. I don't keep a lot of fish throughout the year, but early season they're always taste really good. Cold water, they're just. They're so good this time of year. Well, the leeches are, are honestly are crushing them. But I've caught my two biggest fish so far with plastics, and I really think I just want a power fish. I think what I'm gonna do is put the trolling motor down, creep ahead here, spot lock, cast around a little bit, creep ahead, etc. Et I just feel like if I power fish right now, I'll probably have my best chance to score bigger ones. Oh. Clayton. One felt decent too. I think that's the plan of attack. Another decent one. I was just sitting down, pitching towards shore a little bit. Okay. Telling down, I was just moving around and I felt the fish pick me up. That's another decent one. It's another decent one. Okay, nice. I like to get bigger than this, but be my third registered one anyway. 21 and a half, right there. 21 and a half for our third registered fish. We're doing okay. Ooh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one on the live scope at 20, 20, far, 20 feet out. I'm catching more fish on a jig and a leech, but I'm catching bigger fish on a plastic. So it's really, I should probably stay with it. Yeah, that's a nice fish at 25 feet right here. Ah, I went too far to the right. Oh, right there, be close, be close. Yeah, like I said, I'm catching bigger ones with the soft plastic but more with bait. That one feels better. That one definitely feels a little bit, but nope. Just cause it's hooked so far in, when they're hooked further in, they do feel a little bit better for sure. You never know when they're in shallow like that. If they're big or small, this one is small. All I'm doing today is really just pitching 
windblown shoreline. Fish seem to be in about six feet or less. Caught them in as shallow as two feet. As soon as I get over six, seven feet, I'm not marking very much. Literally just kind of power fishing here, just going along, fishing some shoreline. They, they can be so spread out this time of year. It can be anywhere, really. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, and then sometimes they're nowhere. Time to try some other spots. Things are going okay. I've got my three registered fish. Uh, I, I could have registered more. I've got a 17, probably a couple 16 and a half type of thing. Lots of small ones today so far. But uh, we're gonna keep plugging along. We'll go try some new, try some new stuff and uh, see what can make happen. It's five o'clock. I got about three hours left of my uh, ordeal, three and a half type of thing. Cause I was trying to do seven total. So we're gonna keep going. Things are good. I like the wind. Obviously it's not the best for the filming side of it, but it can make for some good fishing. Don't forget, kill cords, life jackets. When you're driving around, it's definitely a necessity. Little oh, jumbo perch. Oh, wait, that is a tank perch. Oh my goodness. Even though we're chasing our five biggest walleye, look at the size of that perch. Holy moly. Oh, that's one of the fattest perch I have ever caught. Ever. It is 13 inches. <laughs> One more look at that blimp. Holy cow, that's easily the fattest perch I've ever caught. 13 inches, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's send you home. Oh, oh, I thought it was just a small walleye. Jumbo, jumbo, jumbo perch. Wow. I wonder if this could be another big perch. Same spot. <laughs> I'd like for it to be a a big walleye or a big perch, but it's a small walleye. What do we got? Is this a big perch? Kind of, kind of ate like a perch, but nope, it's a walleye. Here I am just wanting perch now. Be about a 17. There's a bunch of fish below me here right now. I'm just fishing the Ned Rig vertical. Why not, right? Smaller. Oh, not bad. I feel like I should register them just because we're struggling here right now. It's been a while since I've registered a fish. Let's register one just because it's been a while since we have. It is 17 and three quarter. 17 and yeah, 17 and three quarter. Doesn't ever hit 18. We definitely don't want this fish to be on our card by the end of the day, but it's a little bit slower for us. Last little bit in terms of registering fish, catching fish, just smaller. Tried uh, jigging a minnow here for a little bit, not jigging a minnow, jigging leeches because I've got so many fish, just so picky. So catch a couple of these, see if there's any bigger ones in it, and then uh, move on to a new spot. Ooh, ooh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, this is a better. This is better. This will be a nice fifth registered fish. Bigger than our 17 and a half for sure. Okay. Nice. 22. Don't hit 22 and a quarter. 22 for our fifth registered. Nice. See ya. Okay. Let's start by getting rid of our 17 and a half next. And then we'll get rid of our 21 and a half. Let's get one more with the uh, leech live bait and then let's go back to soft plastic for a little bit and toss it around here. I've been using one eighth ounce Kalen's Google Eye live bait jig. One of my favorites. 
for live minnows or leeches that short shank and early season in the shallow water i'm always using uh one eighth or or smaller i don't think i have anything smaller so i'm always using a one eighth Ooh. cast it right behind all those fish should be good we're gonna come through them all slip bobber be really good here too i bet you There's definitely lots of fish here right now. We just have to see if the right size one. There's 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 good size. Like they're not they're not tiny. They're not tiny. This is good. This is good. Okay. This will be a nice upgrade for our, from our 17 and three quarter. Heck yeah. 21 and a quarter. So there's a five inch upgrade right there well not quite four and a half i guess we're doing it we're all over 20 inches so that's good let's throw our soft plastic around here a little bit and we can always go back to leech here or a worm too if we have to but i'd like to try to catch some of these with a um, tickle shad or tickle tail ned rig again something like that i like this rod a lot and it's got a really good price point this is that 2b fishing this is the Genesis line. It's a six foot three medium light, I believe. Yeah, medium light, fast action. Really, really nice rod for these one eighth ounce jigs. Okay, let's try Tickle Shad for a bit. I believe you can get Elliot or 2B rods right now from Lake of the Woods Sports Headquarters in Winnipeg, or there's a chance Pokies is gonna carry them. I know, uh, there, uh, somebody was trying to get them to get them in there. But if you want these, just go talk to Pokies if you're in Regina area and say, hey, order some Elliot and 2B rods. So walleye are definitely feeding downwards, it feels like. Early season, that happens a lot. They feed down in the mud, so that's why those Ned rigs are so good. That's why leech with the jig is so good, getting down in the mud. I'd like to pitch cranks and stuff, but I don't know if I'd catch any right now. With them eating downwards. Let's do the let's do the Lake of the Prairies challenge this summer. Who can catch the biggest stringers of walleyes in total inches? Got to be one person though. So if there's two people in the boat, it's uh, you guys got to each have your own your own competition against each other. You can't measure your, your buddy's fish. Mouth has to be slammed shut because that's the way it should be in any online fishing tournament. You have to have a bump board type of thing. Obviously, we're just doing a fun challenge, so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. But if you want to try to beat me this summer at Lake of the Prairies, this won't be the only time I do this e either. I'll be doing this a couple more times before I go north. So yeah, so let's have the Lake of the Prairies challenge. I want you guys to send me your scores, whether you're below, whether you're above my total inches, that type of thing, whatever. I wanna see, I wanna see what you guys can get too. I'm sure somebody's obviously gonna beat me, but eight hours, limit yourself to eight hours. So if you, you know, start, if, you, if you're gonna do an all day affair and you know you're gonna be out from eight till eight, type of thing just say okay at noon we're gonna start or go from eight till four type of thing you know limit yourself to eight hours and see if you can beat my score and if you've never been to lake of the prairies before i highly suggest coming i suggest downloading a map on your phone and studying it ahead of time a venza maps or venza app it's called a venza i'll put the the what it looks like up here but you can download the whole Lake of the Prairies map, or you can download, I think it's got four sections. So it's it's a big lake, and it's fun. Oh, it's, it's lots of fun. You can fish in artificial, fish in plastics. I do lots of cranking later in the year. I'll tell you this much, if you bring bait though, bring lots, because you will go through it. Okay. <laughs> I literally set that fish right in the boat. I'm catching smaller fish on the worms. So we're gonna go back to some artificials. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, so much fun. So much fun. Well, here's the old situation, yo. 
I made a move. I, I came further south, south of the Robin Bridge. Uh, I was fishing north of the Robin Bridge all, all day pretty much. And the water was nice and warm. It was 64 degrees, 65, 65 degrees. I came south and it is a whopping 57.4. Oh boy, I've fished around here a little bit. I've got carp moving here on the side imaging, but I've got no walleye that I've seen at all. So I've got like half an hour left in my challenge, I think, to what I ended up to be like seven hours. I can do two things. I can rip back up north, or I can say, you know what, Clayton, you've had a great day. You've got two videos filmed probably. Why don't you just pack her up, go home, get reorganized. You got some fish to clean and uh, get another good start tomorrow morning and try to film a couple more videos because tomorrow's the last day for a couple days of uh, where the weather's gonna turn basically. So tomorrow's supposed to be nice. You should really get out fishing. I got a few more days to edit. So yeah, I think that's what uh, I'm going to do. I believe I ended 113 inches. So right now as it stands, the challenge to beat Clayton on Lake of the Prairies, one person. We can do eight hours, because I'm gonna do uh, eight hours here in the future again. 113 inches right now is your uh, is your goal. Remember, if there's two people in the boat, then you guys just keep track of your own inches, right? So 113 inches, I believe, is what I ended up with. Uh, by the time you guys go to challenge it, though, I'm going to beat it already is my goal. So right now, the Lake of the Prairies, Clayton Schick Outdoors Challenge sits at 113 inches. So thank you, every, thank you everybody for watching and don't forget, get outside.